How's it going guys, my name is Fred and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So you may be wondering why these uh, fine peasants gentlemen are up here in the courtyard of Ada Hall. Apparently they've come up here to complain that apparently I'm not feeding them and that they're hungry. So apparently the peasants are getting restless. So I guess today uh, we need to find some food. So luckily enough the developers of Medieval Engineers have recently added uh, deers to the game. So I guess today we need to go out and hunt some deers. So yeah, you can see they've added this new deer bot into the game. Uh, which as you can see, it's kind of weird. The animation's a bit strange, but obviously it's just like a, it's sort of like a prototype deer. So you can see in the taskbar, I can place them down. I can place, I can place loads of deer. Oh, I can place four deers, because just like the barbarians, there's a limit of four. So yeah, that's that. And also, you'll see one thing. They do run away from you. If I try and chase after them, they do run away. So I'm not going to be able to catch them with my bare hands. Actually, I might. I think I might be faster than them. Come here. I'm on get you. I'm on get you. Okay, no, maybe, I, maybe I'm not faster than the deers. We appear to be the same speed. So yeah, we need to get some food for the peasants, but apparently chasing the deers is not going to work out. So we need some kind of ranged weapon to kill them with. And there's only one type of ranged weapon in this game. That's a catapult. Just need to find a sort of nice flyer. I guess we should make a catapult near-ish to the woods, because that's where the deers appear to be. Well, the deers are wherever I spawn them, but let's let's do it here. This is nice and flat. So, if we get some wood <laughs> and some other catapult bits, let's start making a lovely catapult with which to hunt deer. That very normal pastime, obviously. I've attempted to make one of the uh, good old torsion spring catapults. I haven't actually ever gotten one of these to fire. <laughs> so let's see if this works. Let's try and wind it back. The problem is actually we're getting it to wind back because I don't think that's doing anything, is it? No. No. So I don't think the torsion spring, this thing, actually has physics when you place it down. So I think I need to sort of free place it. See, when I place it like this, because it's like attached to the floor or something stupid, so the spring doesn't actually work. So I think we need to press J. Place it like this, then maybe that'll work better. Oh, no, it just broke. It just broke straight away. And all the, like, textures went away. That's weird. Let's try it again. Oh, okay, that one didn't break. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, remove fractures. Boom. Yeah, that works. Almost. Go away, go away, get out of the way. Oh, that is so annoying. I need to smash it up a bit, I think. Go away, go away. Oh, boy, get out of the game. Ah, that worked. Just a lovely bit of brute force solves everything. Okay, so let's try building catapult from this thing. Because now that this thing like was free placed, I think it should have physics. Oh, it's sort of moving a bit. Just gives the indication that it might actually work. Come on, let's attach the ropes. See if we can pull this thing back. Yeah, that's attached. Wind it back. That's not doing anything. Wind it back. That's still not doing anything. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I don't think this type of catapult works. So let's just go to one I made earlier. Hopefully it's still intact. So this is the catapult I used in literally the second episode. Uh, looking a bit worse for wear, but all the important bits are still here, I think. Um, so we just need to basically like stick the arm back on the top and it should be fine. I assume one day the catapults will work nicely. But today is not that day. Oh, maybe I was attaching the wheel wrong. Maybe that's why that wasn't working. Oh, who knows, whatever. So anyway, let's wind this thing back and then we'll add some like tons of weight on. Oh yeah, I think I may have made the wheel thing the back wrong. Anyway, that's good, sort of. So now I just add tons and tons of weight to this end and we should be all fine. Oh, oh, well, let's wind it back a bit more. You stay down here, Mr. Catapult. You stay right there. Oh, you bastard, why does he keep... Oh, I'll, I'll add the weight and then I'll wind it up more. And then we'll fire it, it should be good. So if I just add the weight further away from the pivot, it has a higher moment, so I'm just going to do it like this. This should make it quite a, like, quick swing down thing. 
when we release the catapult. Can I use control? I can use control to place these. Now. That makes this way quicker. Uh, uh, look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to add this massive block of weight. Should be good. I don't know how, how dense these weight blocks are, but hopefully they're more dense than the, like the bucket of stones I tried to use previously. Okay. If this giant brick of weight on the end isn't heavy as balls, I don't know what is. So, let's load. The, actually, let's let's put some deer in the general area the things can land. I'm actually gonna like fence them in where I think the bullets gonna go because I have a feeling this catapult's only gonna fire once. Uh, so we don't want to get this wrong. Let's just make a nice fenced off. How far do we think that's gonna go? Probably not very far. Probably about here. Let's put let's put some deers here. Make a nice little deer corral. I'm assuming it's going to go straight. So if we just have it right here, right in front of the catapult, it should be good. Just have a lovely long bit. Increase our chances of hitting them. Just like that. Hopefully the deers can't get out of that. I have a feeling they can, though. That's the problem. Are the deers contained? G yes. Yes, I think they are. Okay, more deer. Four deers in the corral it's literally it's almost literally shooting fish in a barrel it's shooting deers in a fence with a giant weird ass catapult let's add a stone see if we can kill one stone or large project large projectile i think or maybe that's too large maybe i'll use a stone i think it will still kill them if it hits them stick one of them the free placing tool stick it well let's get this right actually don't want to break it uh, uh oh that looks good let's see if this works Let's go down to ground level. Oh my. Cinematic view. Oh yes. I want to fire it from like back here. Let's wind up a tiny bit more. Mm. Okay, that looks good. Oh my. Oh, it's, it's juggling the stone. That thing is, that thing on the end is definitely heavy. And it's doing really weird stuff to my catapult. Mm. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Let's just wind up tighter, see if that helps. Stop. Stop. Oh, no, I've made it worse. Maybe if I get on it. Maybe I'll help dampen it. Uh, let's, let's just stand on here. I don't know if I have any weight in this game. Oh, God, it's just vibrating. Stop. Stop. I guess the ropes are slightly elastic. Which is the only reason I can think of course that. Okay, I think the vibration has, like, died down. Let's load up another stone. Um, and see if we can't fire it. Oh, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> Let's now try firing this goddamn stupid catapult. You ready for this? Detach rope. Uh, oh. Yeah. It was... It was one-time use. <laughs> for fuck's sake. The catapults just do not... You cannot make one that, like, just accelerates fast enough. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. I don't think building another catapult is going to be a sensible idea because I don't think we're going to even make one that works. So maybe now the deers are contained, let's just let's just kill them with an axe. I think. Oh, what should we go? Hammer, axe, pickaxe. That's a torch or a mace. Hmm, I like I like hammer. I like hammering deers in my free time. That's just my personal preference. Come here, Mr. Deer. <laughs> it's time to become food. Oh, they they know what's about to happen. They know what's going down. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting ragdoll animation. Let's let's get another one. Yeah. Okay, fine. They just they just flop over. I want to actually try. If I get them with the ten times mass large projectile, I wonder if I can make one go flying. You ready to go to space? Three, two, one. Oh, oh! I got a two in one, but they just fall over. Damn it! I know that you can launch them up in the air because I've seen it. I've seen it with my very own eyes. So let's just let's try and get that to work. I know we can. Okay, we get four deers. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this at range this time. I don't. I don't need the corral. I'm a good shot. Okay. We need to get them head on. It needs to hit them square in the eyes, between the eyes. If we get them in the face with a cannonball, it should launch them upwards. Are you ready? Oh, I need to literally hit him like head on. So about here should be good. See if we can make him go to space. Oh yes! <laughs> what the fuck? I love physics. Or the lack of physics. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it works sometimes. It works sometimes. Let's try one more. Yes! Nice! 
I li I've literally launched him into the mountains. Wait, there's one more. I definitely placed down four deers. Where is the fourth deer? Oh, I don't know. He's he's run away, which is probably kind of sensible because he knows he knows what's about to happen. Anyway, we have uh, the mission today, which I completely forgot. We did set out uh, to capture a deer, and we have done that. We we got a few of them. One of them is around here somewhere. Oh, I swear I could have seen his legs sticking up in the air. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Well, I think maybe they disappear after a while. That kind of sucks. Okay, let's just get one more deer which we can take back to the peasants. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Just just stay still. Stay still so I can shoot you. Got him. Okay, let's go grab that and take it back to the peasants. Oh my god, how far did I launch it? There he is. There he is. I got him. Okay, let's take this back to the inhabitants of Vader Village. Hopefully, they'll be all happy. Come on, Mr. Deer. Oh, your neck is doing interesting stuff. That's not nice. That's not nice to look at. Why does he keep spinning around me? What are you doing? Where did he go? What the hell? Where did it go? Um. Oh, I think it disappeared. Oh, that sucks. Um. I guess the only way to do this is literally to kill one in front of them. I hope you're happy, guys. I'm going to have to use my godlike powers to create life and then destroy it right in front of you. You better help me catch this thing. Okay, you ready, guys? I'm going to place the deer and then we need to whack it. We need to whack it real quick before it runs around and breaks everything. Ready? Get the deer! Get the deer! No! Nope! I don't want to hit the wall. Kill him! Kill it! Kill it! With a hammer! Oh, I got it! Okay. Are you people happy now? Look. I caught you a deer. No one's going hungry tonight. Vader Village only has three inhabitants. That's plenty of food. Here's a deer. It's literally... I brought it right to your feet. Take this. Go home. Stop complaining to me. Okay? Good. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly unusual, very, very stupid uh, demonstration from the new deer, deer bots added to this game. So I guess they're gearing up for a sort of like survival game mode. Because I don't know if you saw, but when you kill a deer, there's an option over it that says press. It says press and it's just a blank space. But it says press to open inventory. So I guess if when they introduce a survival aspect to this game you have to hunt deer to get food um so that's kind of cool so i guess that's what they're aiming for to this but you can see the deers are a bit buggy there's some slight physics issues if you do hit them with cannonballs but i'm feeling in survival mode you won't be able to project the cannonballs out of your face so you may not be able to see that so anyway yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little video made of engineers uh i've been vader and i'll see you guys later